Hello, my name is H.A. Pruitt, and I want to continue telling you about how God made sure Anathalian became a book. It's a book now. Um, so the editing process is what I, what I want to talk about. The, the editing process, I, in high school I was pretty good at English, I was pretty good at grammar. People call me a grammar Nazi because I just like to edit papers and yeah, it's sick and horrible, but I like to edit papers. Um, so all the times I was looking through my manuscript before I even started the publishing process with Elm Hill, I read over it, I've said like six, seven times, I don't know. I thought I got pretty much all the grammar errors and everything, um, all the four froms, you know, like from or form, how you mix the O and the R up. Does anybody else do that? I do that like every time. That's not important. Um, I thought I had gotten all the little mistakes. And so I thought the editing process would go pretty easily. Before the editing process came, someone read it and that person told me, they came back after reading a couple chapters and they're like, do you know that you have a lot of mistakes in here? A lot of little simple mistakes? And that really threw me off because I thought that my book was pretty, pretty solidly, pretty soundly um, edited. I thought it was pretty good to go. So that made me really stressed out. And I cried a lot about it. And Scott had to talk me out of it. Um, but, but that was before the editing process. And that person had said, you probably need to hire an editor before you even chart, start trying to publish your book. But my book was already almost to the stage where Elm Hill said, now you edit it. And I didn't realize that I was going to have to edit it. I thought they were going to have somebody do it. But that's not how it worked. I had to edit it or hire somebody to edit it. And like I've said, we're not like these rich people um, who know editors and stuff. And so we, I was, I was the one to edit it. So when they sent it to me, sent the manuscript to me after they had formatted it and made it all pretty like it's going to look like in the book, um, they sent it to me and they said, now you edit it. And I was really nervous and afraid and I didn't know what to do. And I tried a couple times and I would get to like, this page and I'd be like uh I don't know I don't know what should be on it I don't know what to do and and I didn't know what to do and so I did what I knew to do I prayed and I asked God to help me and like I said I had read over this manuscript so many times so many times six times it probably doesn't seem a lot to people who are authors probably seems like too many to people who aren't um but then when I after I prayed and asked God to help me it was like he flipped a switch in my head. It was so weird because I had read this thing over. I thought it was good. I thought it was fine. I hadn't seen these mistakes. And then when I started reading it after I prayed that God would help me, it was like he just, just dropped this ability in me to be able to edit it exactly like it needed to be. And as I was going through it, I saw all these little different things. And I was, I was, it was absolutely amazing. It was just like he flipped a switch in my head to be able to do something I was not able to do. I did not know how to do. And I looked it up to make sure it was right. I even Googled it and was like, is this right? Are you supposed to put commas in these places? And Google was like, yes. And I was like, why didn't I just listen to you, God? And, and it was really, really amazing. And even things were like, I wouldn't know about a certain little sentence in the book. And I'd be like, I don't know what to do about this, God. And then he'd be like, go read your Bible. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And I'd read my Bible and it would have an example sentence there, you know, just that was the same structure, but in the Bible. And I was like, God, you even use the Bible to teach me grammar that I need to know. It was truly amazing. God just gave me the ability to do what I needed to do exactly when I needed to do it. Um, and that, that was difficult because I was like, God, why didn't you let me be able to do this before when I was reading through it? I read through it a bunch of times. And I learned eventually that it was because God wanted me to know it was him doing it. It wasn't just me. I was good at grammar. You know, I had been good since high school, whatever. He wanted me to know specifically this was him giving me this ability at that moment when I needed it. That it wasn't me. That it was indeed all him doing it. So this is his book. This is totally his book. And the lesson from that, if God tells you to do something that you cannot do, he will make you able to do it. And it will just blow your mind. 
and connect you to him even more. And that's what he really wants. So here's my book. Um, bye for now.